Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can work with the normal distribution in SPSS. As you can see I made a small uh, data file with some X values, uh, the mean, the averages and the standard deviation. Now the first thing I'm going to calculate are so-called z-scores and they can actually be calculated by using transform, compute variable. I'm going to target my z variable and it's going to be between parentheses the x value minus the mean and then outside the parentheses divided by the standard deviation. So this will actually calculate the z-scores. Uh, it overrides an existing variable, yes, and that's the z-value. So this tells me how many deviations, standard deviations, this score was away from uh, the mean. Now we can calculate the cumulative density function of the normal distribution um, directly. We didn't actually need those z values for that and it will tell us the probability if it's normally distributed of um, an x value of 13 or less. So we can do that by going again to transform compute variable. I'm going to say reset so it clears everything and I'm going to calculate that and uh, normal cumulative density function. That function is available in SPSS in the function group CDF and we're looking for norm, so normal. It first asks for the quantile, so that's going to be the x value. Then for the mean, which is going to be my mean variable. And then the standard deviation. You can see that that's the format over here. I click on OK and it should nicely calculate this for me. Uh, and it shows the results. So there's a chance of 0.59 to have a 13 or less in the normal distribution if the mean is 12.3 and the standard deviation is 3.1. I could also use the standard normal distribution which has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 and then just feed the z value. So transform, compute variable again and instead of and CDF it's going to be the standard normal and instead of a mean I'm going to use a zero and instead of a standard deviation I'm going to use a one and again it should ask me to change the existing variable and it should give the same result as you can see it didn't which is a surprise to me um, and that's because transform compute variable uh, I still had X in here and that should be the Z value click on OK and now it's indeed the same. If you want just the height of the normal distribution, so the curve itself, you can use the probability density function. Again, transform, compute variable. We can say reset and now I'm going to calculate just the height, no, uh, normal probability density function, which is of course in the PDF uh, version. We then look for, again, the normal distribution, so PDF normal. And it asks us for the quantile again, so that's going to be my x, the mean again, so that's going to be this one, and of course the standard deviation. Click on OK, and we should get the height of the curve. Again, if we want to Z, uh, the standard normal, we can do the same thing, but then simply use um, the, um, the Z value and a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. For the inverse, uh, that's also possible. We can use transform, compute variable, and I'm going to calculate the inverse of the, oh, inverse of the normal probability of the normal cumulative density function and those are in the group of the inverse and, and that's uh, available uh, inverse DF there it is uh, it's going to be the normal one so I need to look for the normal IDF normal so instead of typing that I can actually type it myself, IDF uh, normal, and this should actually calculate. Now, instead of X, we need a probability, so let's use the NCDF, and that should give us back the original X value. So click on OK, yes, 
and as you can see these are indeed again the same as these. I could do the same again for the standard normal distribution transform compute variable uh, and then instead of the normal it's going to be the standard normal and that's going to be that same NCDF uh, but then actually we could use the standard normal a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1 and that should give us again the Z values and as you can see it's rounded it a bit but they are indeed the same right and that's how you can work a bit with the standard normal distribution and the normal distribution in SPSS hope this was helpful and thank you for watching